people all over this world. Yeah, people all over this world. Say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus. Hello, my friend, it's me, Bishop John R. Stevenson. I'd like to welcome you to another edition of It's a Word Thing 2019, my friends. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus, giving you glory and praise for this wonderful year of 2019. Thank you for allowing us to cross the threshold of a brand new year. Thank you for every opportunity, Father, that we are going to meet uh, in these 365 days this year. Ask that you would prepare us right now to fellowship and break bread together, that you will bless our time together, and that you will be honored and glorified in everything that is said and done during this broadcast. I pray for each and every person that's listening right now, Father, at this particular time, that you will touch the spiritual ears of your people, that they may hear a rhema word from heaven. Glory to God. Touch their spiritual eyes, that they may see the hand of God move in this broadcast today. Then touch the hearts of your people that they will all be receptive to whatever it is you're gonna say in and through your Holy Spirit today in this year of 2019. Glory to God, we give you praise, honor, and glory for sure. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, my friend. It's so good to be here in this year of 2019. As we embark on this year, well, we're already in the year. Uh, as we are recording today, today is the 8th. Uh, you're going to see it a little bit later. Your time is a week later, but uh, everything is purposed with God. Everything is purposed with God. And so when I begin to talk to the Lord about what it was that he wanted me to talk to uh, the listening audience about at the beginning of this year, he did give me a word for us for this year. But there are some things that he wants to talk about before we really get into the word that he gave me. I can tell you what that is. He said that this year, 2019, watch now, is the year of a new thing. It's the year of a new thing, not a new beginning, my friend. It's the year of a new thing. He says it's the year of a new thing. It's not the season. It's the year of a new thing. And I'm going to explain all that to you when we get into it. It's not a, it's not a season. It's not the season because in a year there's four seasons. He says it's a year of the new thing. That means he can pick any season during the year he wants to do the new things in your life. If it's only a season, then you have a small window of opportunity, my friend, to get in on what it is that God is doing and saying. And if you miss that window, you just totally miss out. So somebody ought to go ahead and clap your hands for Jesus for God saying that this is the year of a new thing. Like I say, we're going to get into that uh, and, and we're going we're gonna to talk about why it's not a new beginning, it's a new thing, not a new beginning, okay? But the first thing the, the Holy Spirit said that he wanted me to talk to us about was, watch this, my friend. During one of my quiet times, uh, the question was brought to me, the, the, the question was brought to me uh, about asking God for guidance. Uh, it, it was like this, it said, it's a, well, it really wasn't a question, it was like a statement, it's a good thing to ask God. It's a good thing to ask. What, what was he saying? The, the, the person was saying it's a good thing to ask God for direction. Uh, before, when I, when I looked at that, when I saw that, I said, okay, well, I'm not going to ask for stuff. I'm not going to ask for things. I'm not going to ask for relationships. What I'm going to ask God for, watch now, friend, what I'm going to ask God is, what is your will for my life for 2019? What is your will for my life for 2019? Even though he had said to me, friend, that this is the year of a new thing, I still wanted to know what is your will for my life? What is the direction? What is it that you're wanting me to do and accomplish this year of 2019? And I think that's important for us, friend, because every year uh, we go through the foolishness, I want to say, of the world. We go through the foolishness of things and, and we make resolutions and we make promises, we make vows, and we do all these things, friend, and they all come to naught. They're all in vain. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's ask God what his will is, watch now, and get on that road for 2019. What is your will for my life? I want to take you to Psalms 143. 
Psalms 143. And let's listen to what David says in Psalms 143. Psalms 143. <clears throat> uh, as we look at Psalms 143, let's look at verse number I'm going to start at verse number 7. Psalms 143, my friends, starting at verse number 7 because we're dealing with, watch now, what is God's will for your life in 2019? That's the first thing we have to deal with. Find out what his will is because, watch now, once I get into the will of God, watch, friend, once I get into the will of God, it's, it's no way that I can miss any of the new things that he want to do this year. But I got to find out where I'm supposed to be, get in the will of God. Let, let me say this to you. Uh, that's one of the, the, the most least, least traveled uh, uh, spaces, the will of God. A lot of us think we're in the will of God just because God let us do certain things. Watch now, his permissive will. He permit things to go on and things to happen, and then we want to act like it's the will of God. No, friend, if you didn't, if you didn't acknowledge God in it, it's not his will. His, his permissive will is just allowing you to make decisions. You're a free will, free moral agent. You make decisions, all the decisions for your life. You make those decisions, but you can't call that the will of God. That's the permissive will of God. He's letting you have your way. He letting you do it the way you want to do it. Glory to God. Keep your fingers on Psalms 143 and, and go with me to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Go to me with Deuteronomy chapter 4 right quick, friend. We're going to get back over there. Deuteronomy chapter 4 because I need to show you this right here because in Deuteronomy chapter 4, let me make sure. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 4, friend. Let's look at verse number 7 because, listen, we are... We, God is allowing us to do things, friend. We don't want to start this year off the way we started last year. We, we need to get in a better place this year because of the new things that God wants to do in your life this year. This is the year of a new thing. And watch now, it's the year for that. And those new, new things are going to happen. And when we get off into dealing with that, I'm, I'm going to really help you with some stuff. But let's look at verse number 7, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse number 7. Watch this because this is important, friend. For what nation is there so great who hath God so not unto them? Watch now. As the Lord our God is in, watch, friend, all things that we call upon him for. So, friend, watch this. He's not in all things. He's only in the things that we call upon him for. That we, watch now, that we go before God, we lay ourselves out before God, and we say this to God, Lord. 2019, I'm thanking you. You've blessed me with 2019, but I need your help to navigate through this year. I need your help, God. I need you to order my steps. Guide my feet, oh Lord, during this year of 2019. So I wind up in all the right places before all the right people. Watch now saying all the right things because when I seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these other things are added unto me. Glory to God. I love you to death. To life. I'm sorry, I love you to life. So let's go back over here to Psalms 143, verse starting at verse 7. Psalms 143, and we want to start at verse number 7. We got to be mindful, friend, that listen, the 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 road that's most often traveled is the permissive will of God. Because God is permitting things, allowing things. Watch this. I hear so many people say this, my friend, that well, he didn't say no. I, I went to God and God didn't say no. Okay, so why didn't you wait for him to say what he was going to say before you did what you did, friend? Now he just permitted you to do it because if you really want to know what God have to say, you will wait on the Lord. Glory to God, my friend. Hallelujah. 2019 is a wonderful year. I know we say it every year, but friend, if you get on board with what the Lord is saying right now, you're going to have a wonderful year this year and you're going to enjoy some new things in life. Psalms 143, starting at verse 7. Listen to what David says. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me. Least I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Verse 8, watch what he says. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. Why morning? Because that's the beginning of the day. Friend, you need to seek the will of God, the presence of God. Watch now what God wants you to do, the counsel of God in the beginning of your day. Don't wait till you get in the middle of the day and all Hades is breaking loose all around you. Everything is collapsing in on you. Now you want to know, well, Lord, what you want me to do? No, first thing in the morning, friend, when you get up, find out what it is God wants you to do and get into his will. Get on that path, friend, and stay there. Somebody say stay right there. 
Verse 8, watch what he says now. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Friend, if you really trust God, if you really trust him, friend, you're going to go to him and get counsel from him first thing in the morning because watch this now. You want to be where God wants you to be. You want to do what God is wanting you to do. You want to say what God is wanting you to say so that you can have what God wants you to have, friend. That's what you want, friend. Say, that's what I want. Watch now, for I trust in thee. The question is, do you trust God? You're going to have to trust God more this year, friend, than you did last year. Because this is a new year. This is a new year, friend. So you're going to have to trust God for things this year. Watch now, what you trusted God for last year or didn't trust God for last year, that's over and done. But you're going to have to put your trust in God and go before God and find out what it is that God wants you to do. Hallelujah. Watch now. Watch now what he says. For I, I do, for, for, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know thy way. Where it, look what he said. He said, cause me to know. In other words, reveal to me. Give me a revelation. Let there be a manifestation, Father. Watch now, friend. This is good. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Let me know what it is so I don't just take off haphazardly and just go in my own way and then I end up here or I wind up there. That's not, that's not God's way for the church. That's not God's way for the believer because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, I think it's the, the 16th verse, 14 or 16th verse, where it says those who are led by his spirit are his sons and daughters. God is ordering our steps, friend. He's guiding us by his spirit. We're just not out here flapping in the wind, friend, doing whatever we want. No, sir, no, man. We want to make sure that we are hearing from God and doing whatever it is that God is telling us to do. Watch this. He says, so cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Watch now. For I lift up my soul unto thee. In other words, watch this, friend. I am lifting up my soul unto thee, so I'm putting my life, I'm going to put my life in your hands. I'm handing it to you. Glory to God. Watch this now. I'm handing it to you. Watch, friend. Listen. God, I'm handing my life to you. Now, now you direct my life and give me the order Order my steps and tell me what it is you want me to do. Reveal it to me. Show it to me because without you showing it to me, revealing it to me, I'll never see it. Lord, I'll never see it. But watch now, friend. I want to see it. Not necessarily in the natural do I need to see it, but in the spirit I need to see where God is taking me. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I need to see that. And I want you to understand that this year, God is seeking for people. Listen, friend, he's seeking after people who are going to come to him for counsel. He's seeking after people who are going to let him, allow him to order their steps. He's seeking after people, friend, who really want to know his will for their life. That's what God is seeking this year. He's looking for people that really want to be walking with him, friend, that really want to be doing the things that he's needing done. Watch, friend, in this year of 2019, there are some things, friend, that has to happen, that must must happen this year and God is looking for some faithful committed people who are willing to walk that path of being in the center of the will of God not his permissive will friend in his will glory to God glory to God let me let me let me kind of do this a little bit now now I want to take you to first Samuel chapter 13 first Samuel chapter 13 first Samuel chapter 13 first Samuel chapter 13 <coughs> I know I repeat myself sometimes because faith coming by hearing, friend. It comes by hearing. Uh, 1 Samuel 13, I want to start at verse number, number 13. And we're going to read verse 14. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Saul, uh, Saul is not the kind of person, uh, this is the first king of the, the, the people of God. He's not the kind of person who, who wants to listen to the, to, the, to the will of God and obey the will of God. He was always doing his own thing and doing what he wanted to do. And friend, I'm saying to you, God is wanting me to say, the Holy Spirit is wanting me to say to you, this year is not the year for you to do your own thing, friend. We are all one decision away. I'm going to use my thumb because I, I don't point because people get on me by pointing. I'm going to use my thumb. We are one decision away, my friend. Listen to the Holy Spirit. We are one decision away from, uh, from the worst thing or the best thing happening in our life. One decision away from that. And, and you and I don't know which one of the decisions we're going to make is going to be that decision that break our life or make our life. for you. We don't know that, friend. We don't know that. So why don't we allow God to order our steps? Why don't we get in the will of God and really follow the order of God for my life in the year of 2019? This is the year of a new thing. 
Watch this now, starting at, we in 1 Samuel 13, starting at verse 13. And Samuel said to Saul, thou have done foolishly. Thou have not kept the commandments of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. Listen to what he said. He said, if you had a did what God told you to do, if you had been obedient to God, he would have established your kingdom forever. Friend, Bishop ain't making up nothing right here. Everything is flowing with the Holy Spirit right now. That's why he said, we're one decision away. Watch now, friend. We one decision away from the worst thing or the best thing happening for us in our life. And we don't know what decision, watch now, outside of the guidance of God is going to be the worst decision of my life. Well, guess what? Saul then made the last decision. Watch what he said in verse 14. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. Watch, friend. God has sought a man that's going to get in his will and follow his will. So the things that he need to happen in 2019 are going to be able to happen. Watch now. But, but, but now thy kingdom shall not continue. For the Lord, watch now, have sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be captain over his people. Watch now, you don't want somebody, to, you don't want God to bring somebody else in to take your place, to do what it is that you've been called in purpose to do, friend. Because when he do that, you, you are moved away from everything else that lines up with your life, that God wants for your life. You got to stay in position, friend. 2019, you got to stay in position, friend, so the new things can happen in your life. Listen to what he says. Listen to what he says. He said, I have commanded him to be captain over, over his people, because thou have not kept that which the Lord had commanded thee. You see what I'm saying to you, friend? You see what the Holy Spirit is saying to you right now in this year of 2019, my friend? God is looking for people, friend, that's going to obey him, that's going to do exactly what he need done so he can see what he needs to see happening in this earth according to what's going on in heaven, friend. This is what God is saying to us today for this year of 2019. Friend, have you gotten with God? Have you went before God and asked God what is his will for your life? This is what God is waiting for you to do, friend. No, no, he's, he, listen, God is waiting on you. You're not waiting on God, friend. God is waiting on you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, now, now watch this because I want to I wanna take you somewhere. Well, well let, me, let me read this. Before I move on, let me say this to you. We want to be in the will of God. Watch, friend. We want to be in the will of God because it is in the will of God that we please as him. It's in his will that he's pleased. You're not pleasing God until you're in his will. I don't care what you go out and do. Nadab and Abihu, we don't want that spirit to just give God whatever we want and think God is going to okay it. We don't want that Cain kind of spirit to where we bring God what he wants and expect God to okay that. That's not where God is, friend. God wants you in his will, doing the things that he is willing. Watch now, the things that pleases him, friend, not you. God wants you to do the things that pleases him because guess what, friend? That's what's best for you. Listen. In God's will is the place where we please God. You can't help but please God when you're in the will of God, friend. Get in that place with God where you are right smack dab, as they say, in the will of God. Not what he is permitting or allowing you to do, friend. You want to be doing what he's telling you, commanding you, directing you, counseling you to do. That's where you want to be my friend. Hallelujah. Listen, don't you know, friend, that we are on this earth, we are in this earth, watch this, to do the will of God. That's why we're here. We're here to, to do the will of God. We're not here to do our own will. When Jesus left, he said, go ye therefore into all the world. Watch what he said. He said, and teach them of all the things that, I observed, that you observe. He said, you teach them to do them, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Notice, he didn't tell them to go do their own thing. He told him exactly what to go and do. When Jesus came to the earth, he didn't come doing his own thing. He said, I come doing the will of my father. Friend, we need to be in the will of God. We need to be in the will of God. And if I follow Jesus, I'm going to be in the will of God. And if I'm listening to the Holy Spirit and following the Holy Spirit, I can't help but be in the will of God. Uh, let's go oh, to Acts chapter 9. This blessed my soul right here, friends. This blessed my soul when the Lord took me here. 
When he took me here, it blessed my complete soul. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Saul, Saul, mm -hmm, of Tarsus, he's on, he, he's on the, the Damascus road. He's on the road to Damascus. Put, let's put it, he's on the road to Damascus. Hallelujah. And as he's on the road to Damascus, there are some things that take place. But I want to I get to verse 6 right quick because I want to show you something about what it sounds like. Now, now he's, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let, let me kind of kind of hone myself in. Watch this. Saul, he's got a desire to go to Jerusalem and to capture Christians and to persecute them. Okay. He, he wants to go and get them. I'm sorry. He wants to go and, and get the Christians. He want to bring them back, mm -hmm, and he want to persecute them. Watch this. But it's not his jurisdiction, so he can't, he can't just go into the synagogues and just, and just arrest people and bring them back. Watch, watch this now. This bless my soul. He needs authorization. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said what he needs is a search warrant. He needs a reason to go in. He needs somebody to give him permission to do it. You know, you can't go just search a person's house without permission. Friend. The police can't just come and search somebody's house without, without permission. They got to have a search warrant. And that's what the Holy Spirit put in my spirit. He said he, said he needed a search warrant. He needed permission from the high priest to go into those folks synagogue and do what it was he desired to do. Now watch this now. This is not God's desire for him. This is his own desire for him. And some of us then came over into 2019 with our own desires. That's what it is when we make our own resolutions and we make these promises and we, we make our bucket list and all these things we're going to do throughout the year. That's our will. That's not God's will because if you ask God what his will is, you throw that list away. You never would have come up with that list if you went before God first and asked him what his purpose and plan for you for this year. And so here it is. Watch this now. He, he, he gets the, the, the letters that he need to go on and do what it is that he wanted to do, friend. Watch now. He's doing his own thing. And as he's taking this journey, friend, there's some people with him. Glory to God, this blessed my soul. There's some people with him. He think the people that are with him, watch this, are supposed to assist him in doing his own will. He think the people that are with him, friend, are supposed to assist him in doing his own will, but they really there to help him do the will of God. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. They really there, friend, to help him do the will of God. And as we look at the scriptures, I'm going to show you that they are there not to help him do what he thought he was going to do, but to help him get into the will of God. But I want to read verse number six to you because verse number six is important. Listen to what it says. Listen to what it says. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Look, friend, look, look now. He, he's, he's going to do his own will. He's going to do his own thing. He wants to do his own thing, my friend. And, and watch this. Lord, have mercy. But there's, some, there's a suddenly that take place. There's a suddenly that takes place, watch now, that derails his plan. Now, he's got an opportunity to do something, friend, either to get in the will of God or to stay in his own will. 2019, friend, you got an opportunity, watch, friend, to either get in, in your, stay in your own will or get in the will of God. Which one are you going to do, friend? Which one are you going to do? Because watch now, you one decision away from the worst thing or the best thing happening to you in your life. Listen to what he says now. Listen to what he says because his plan get interrupted. His will, God will want to interrupt your will, friend, this year so the new things can happen in your life. He, and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, watch now, friend, the Lord says unto him, rise and go into the city and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Look at here, friend. He said, now watch now because you asked me what my will is for you. Well, I'm getting ready to give you some instructions now. Now watch now. Now it's up to you to follow the instructions that the Lord is giving you. Don't ask God for things, friend, if you're not going to follow his instructions. If you you're not going to line up with what he's telling you to do. Don't go to God and ask him for anything, friend, until you get to the place to where you're willing to follow God's instructions. You stay away from God because God don't, God don't want you to come to him so he can sign off on your plan, so he can sign off on your will. Okay, what you want to do because God is not going to okay what you want to do, friend. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Let's, let's stay here, friend. What is his will for you. Have you asked God what is his will for you in this year of 2019? 
That's why you need to get, friend. You know why? Because the will of God, that road is not often traveled. We are, we, friend, listen, listen to the Holy Spirit now. We are more in the permissive will of God. I mean, the majority of the time we're in the permissive will of God. It's the majority of the time. And it's a shame we say it, friend, if you be honest with yourself. <laughs> You ain't got to be honest with me because God already know. You be honest with yourself. You are, you are more, more in the permissive will of God than you are in his will the majority of the time. God is saying to us right now, he's looking for people, men and women, who are going to follow his counsel, who are going to get into the will of God and allow him to order their steps. Not some of them, friend, all of them, because this is the year of a new thing. And the only way you're going to get uh, uh, experience the new things that's going on this year in 2019, you're going to have to get in the will of God. You're going to have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness so all these other things can be added, my friend, unto you. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit right now, my friend? Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? But are you ready to obey him? Are you ready to obey the Holy Spirit, friend? Are you ready to do what he's asking you to do, what he would require of you this year of 2019? This year is set up for you, for new things to happen. But you're going to have to go before the Lord, find out what his will is, get in his will, get on that path, friend, and stay there. So that you wind up in the right places with the right people saying and hearing all the right things. So the Holy Spirit, watch this, the unction of the Holy Ghost can say, that's what I brought you here for. That's what I wanted you to hear. That's what you needed to say to that person or to that person. And once you say that, friend, watch this, once you say that, it's like a combination to a lock and it opens just like that. Now all of a sudden you got access to something you never would have had access to before. My friend, this is the year 2019. God is looking for people that is going to get in his will. Find out from God what is his will for your life, friend. What is his will for your life? Get in that place, friend, and stay there. I've enjoyed my time with you. This, this first opportunity I've had in 2019 to share with you what God is wanting me to give to you for this year to help navigate yourself in this year. So I'm asking you to just receive what it is that the Holy Spirit is saying. Get in that place, friend, so you can see God do the things he has purpose and plan for you. This is Bishop John Stevenson. I love you to life, and I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I look forward to spending time with you next time, this same place, this same time. God bless you, and I love you to life. Till we meet again, my friend, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. People all over this world yeah, people all over this world Say people all over this world They're looking for Jesus